welcome back to my channel. Today is just gonna be a what's on my iPhone. I enjoy watching these, so I figured why not make it. I don't keep too much on there, but I actually kind of have a lot at the same time. You're probably gonna hear Aiden in the background. He only took a short nap today because for the past two, three months, um, postal service hasn't been ringing the doorbell when they drop off packages. And today, they decided to, when he was napping, the dogs went crazy and he's still tired, but he's just refusing a nap. So, so you might hear him in the background. Anyway, I have the iPhone 11, the green one, but I do keep an otter box on it because I drop my phone a lot. My screensaver is just Aiden on his dad's guitar because he loves guitars. He loves music, anything that makes noise. And then my background is just us when Cody got promoted. So along the bottom, I just keep like the basic stuff, phone, safari, messages, and camera. And then I try to keep everything in folders so that way it's not just a bunch of apps everywhere. And the two folders that I have on my home screen are the main things that I use. So in this first one, I just have Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, Pinterest, YouTube, Google Photos, and Photos because Google Photos has pictures from previous phones that I've had and they're just all saved there and then photos is just photos that I have on this phone. Um, Navy Federal M1 is a financing app. Influencer, um, it's basically they can send you free things for you to review. I've gotten quite a bit of stuff from them but I've heard people say that they haven't gotten anything ever and they've had it for years. I don't know how I got lucky and I've gotten quite a bit of stuff from them. YouTube Studio tells you all your analytics and stuff for YouTube, like your watch time, views, subscribers, um, if you're making money, how much money. But to make money on YouTube, you have to have at least a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time within a 12 month period and then you can start making revenue from Google Ads. YouTube Tracker, I'm thinking about deleting that app actually because for the free version, it just shows you your subscriber count and um, it converts the minutes into hours. Like, you know, however many, because YouTube Studio only shows you how many minutes of watch time you have and obviously if you have to have 4,000 hours, you can convert it yourself or YouTube tracker converts it for you and shows you how many hours and like how close you are to being at that goal of 4,000. But it's also really behind because there's times where I'll go into the studio and see it and convert it. And then I'll go into the tracker and the subscriber count will be right, but the, um, the hour time will be off. The next folder, I just have the wonder weeks, which tells me like when Aiden's going through different leaves and um, if there's phases where he's more grumpy and I just don't know why I can go in here and be like, oh, okay, he's going through a leaf. That makes sense. And go down here and see what things um, that he's probably going through. And then things that you'll be able to see that they understand more of, like things that they couldn't do before, or didn't understand before. You know, you may see that now they can do it or now they understand it. So. I love this app. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I know it was only a couple bucks and I use it all the time. Calendar, notes, Lollipop, that's our baby monitor. And I do love it because it goes through the Wi-Fi, and then you can watch it on your phone anywhere. But the only thing that I hate about it and I didn't realize it until after we had bought it and started using it and stuff was your phone or iPad, you know, whatever you download the app on, that acts as the baby monitor. So you can just have the sound on and still use your phone. But if you wanna watch the video, you know, that takes up your phone. So you can't use your phone or whatever for anything else. But overall, I still love it though. Mail, Clash of, Can Clash of Clans is a game. I was super addicted <laughs> for a long time before Aiden came. And then I just kinda didn't have time for it. and. Whenever I do play, it's not for very long anymore, but it's really fun. And the further you get along, the more time it takes, obviously, to do things. So I still try to play it every once in a while. Spotify for listening to music or podcasts and Apple Podcasts because I just go back and forth between the two. Sometimes I want to listen to nothing but music, and then other times I just want to listen to podcasts. And I go through phases of 
going back and forth between them. That's the guitar, by the way, his little guitar. He's just smashing it on the floor. Roku to control the TV because half the time the remote's lost and who knows where Aiden put it. Luckily, have the app on phone and can use it to control the TV. Men just kind of keep track of where money is at. Libby, if you have a library card, you can download this app. As long as the library that you go through has audiobooks and ebooks, you can download them on the app and listen to them. And I think you have them for like two weeks, but it's nice. So the only downside is the library card that I have, the library doesn't offer that many new books or really a whole lot of books that I'm interested in. So it kind of stinks. And then we have clock and let me just scroll this way. So on this side, all I keep are the percentages like for my phone, my watch, and then my screen time. And over here, we have just everything else kind of in folders. This first folder is the app store, CoStar, which is just an astrology app. It tells you, you can find like your birth chart and all your things. Like I'm a Scorpio moon or Scorpio sun, Taurus moon and Gemini rising. And then it tells you where all of the other planets and stuff are in your uh, chart. And then it goes on to explain like what they mean. It's a really cool app. I love it, but I'm into astrology and all that stuff. So I find it fascinating. The next one is Like It To Know It. I follow um, quite a few fashion bloggers on Instagram and they're always posting um, in this app where they got the thing so it's easy to just come here instead of trying to look through their profile or um their stories and stuff if i find something that i like i can just click on it click shop now and then it'll bring me right to whatever it was and i can see oh okay you know it's not in stock but i can order it online or whatever so that is that app then I have settings, weather, my water. I have my water on my watch because I used to track how much water I was drinking because I was trying to drink at least a gallon a day. And I was drinking about a gallon and a half every single day and tracking it. But all it takes for me is to fall off, you know, a few days in a row and then I just completely forget to track it. I'll still drink water but I'll notice that I won't drink as much and then I forget how much I drink so I forget to track it and it just becomes this whole thing but I need to get better at that but I do have it you can see oh gosh you can see right here is where I keep it and then I just add you know whatever it is water and then however many ounces but it's right there I just need to get better at using it numbers the next folder USAA, Credit Karma, Informed, and USPS Mobile. A lot of the times I don't even go to the mailbox to check the mail because I just check to see what's coming and if it's important, then I go get it. If it's not, I'll just leave it there and get it another day. Shazam, uh, obviously most people know what Shazam is to see what song. Pandora, I don't really use it all that much, but I still have it on my phone. DraftKings during football season, um, we got into betting on football teams and players and stuff. And I was never into it before, but he would always ask me to play it with him. And usually I would always end up winning something, even though I didn't really know a whole lot about the players. I would just go through and look at things and I was surprisingly really good at it. And it was super fun. Google Maps, I prefer Google Maps over Apple Maps. And then Skyview Light tells you like where the planets and stuff are in the sky. The next one, I have Snapseed, Lightroom, VSCO or Visco, however you wanna say it. I always tell myself that I'm gonna edit my photos, but I usually never do or I'll just edit it on Instagram before I post it like on the app. But I wanna get better at actually editing pictures and getting kind of things looking cohesive. Honestly, I'm just lazy. So I download them and then I don't really use the apps. Stocks, obviously, to check stocks. Tabs, um, when Cody was learning how to play guitar and even now, just like different songs, you can learn how to play them, like what chords you need to know and 
where they are in the songs. It's actually a really cool app. I never knew there was anything like it. Um, Venmo, obviously for paying people and getting paid. Time Hop, you can connect it to all of your social medias or anything that you want, any social medias, um, your photos. And then it'll go back on that day as far as like any of the accounts that you have hooked up to it, everything that happened on that day or that you posted about or took pictures of or whatever. And it'll show you. So it's pretty cool to look back and see like what you were doing on this day all these years ago. And to see how things have changed. Golden Thread Tarot. I've recently got into tarot and just learning all about it and watching a bunch of videos on YouTube about it. This will help you learn how to use tarot cards if you have your own. It shows you like different spreads and stuff and um let me see like if you want to get a reading just a single card and then if you have your own deck they'll teach you like how to use it you know shuffling and then selecting and what it means and stuff or you can just where is it yeah or you can just go on it and then it'll have just like a daily random tarot card for you every day and then you can click it read it and see if it resonates with your life. Keynote, obviously, for presentations and stuff. The next one, news, reminders. Well, this folder is more of the stuff that I hardly ever use. It just really never gets touched. So news, reminders, home, wallet. I don't know about you, but I don't hook up my cards to my phone or my watch. I just never felt comfortable doing that, but I know a lot of people do. I just personally don't. Shortcuts, find my, um, if anyone's sharing their location with you or whatever, you can see where they're at, what they're doing. Well, not what they're doing, but you can see where they're at. Files, voice memo, voice memos, compass. You can probably hear the Cheerios over here, but somebody is in a side chair eating Cheerios and I think he's ready to get down. Measure, FaceTime, Snapchat, calculator, contacts. Oh yeah, this, this is pretty cool. Um, Morfolio board. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that right, but you can create. Okay, well, I guess I can't anymore. But you can create um, kind of like a blank canvas and then add all of these things. Like if you're trying to redecorate your room and you want to put the bed frame that you want to use or like the headboard and some side tables and stuff that you want to use and see like how it would look together, you can put it all together on there and just look and see what it would look like. It is actually a really cool app. Shark is for the little shark um, vacuum that we have. We haven't used it really since we've moved here because somebody loves to play with the cord um, and the little charger dock that it sits on. So I'd rather him not play with those, but every time it's plugged in and sitting there, he goes straight for it no matter how many times you try to redirect him in a different direction. It just sits down there and he basically stands on it and pushes it around. Casa, that is a Wi-Fi controlled light bulb. We used to have our old house, but it didn't fit anywhere in this house. So it's currently in the cupboard, just sitting there. But anyway, you put it in just like a regular light bulb. It works just the same. And then if you have like a Google Home or something like that, you can tell it to turn the light on, turn it off, dim it. Um, you can change it from more of a white blue light to more of like an orange um, warm tone light. It's really cool. Google Home, Toyota. Um, I don't really know what my app does for it because Cody's for the GMC he can start the truck, he can turn it off, he can um, unlock it, lock it, all that stuff. And you can't do any of that with the Toyota app. Cox Wi-Fi, obviously your Wi-Fi, Gmail, ESPN and NFL for football season, T-Mobile, T-Mobile Tuesdays, period tracker, and Apple Maps. The next one, health things. So we have the health app the Apple Watch app, the activity app, all trails, which is for finding hiking trails um, around the area you're in or around an area that you are traveling to or somewhere you want to go. 
Renfo is a scale that tracks your weight, obviously, but it also tracks like your um, body fat and it calculates it like in the app, how much you weigh, how much you've lost, all that stuff. It's actually pretty cool. The next one, shopping. So we have American Eagle, Etsy, Michaels, Walmart, Target, Amazon, Groupon, Gap, and Kohl's. A lot of the times I don't even order online. I'll just look and see like the prices on things or where they're at in the stores and then just go in store. Especially if it comes to clothes, I'd rather go and try them on instead of buying it online. Those, and then the last app I have, Pink Pick Monkey, Thumbnail Maker, Google Duo, Guitar Tuner, Nike Run Club, Surfline, and Hopper. I've heard a lot of people use Pick Monkey for making thumbnails, so I downloaded it to try it. I haven't tried it yet. I did done I did download Thumbnail Maker before that one and I've used it a couple times and it's not bad. Google Duo, I used that to talk with my dad. We used to use Facebook Messenger but it was always blurry and it would always be kind of choppy. In Google Duo, the video comes in clear, the audio comes in clear, so we just use that instead. Guitar tuner, obviously if you wanna tune your guitar, your ukulele, um, I had it on the ukulele because I was tuning Aiden's little guitar that he got and it's just a little ukulele, but if you wanna learn how to tune it, you can and it'll tell you like what it should sound like. Nike Run Club, I use that whenever I go on runs to time um, like how fast my mile is because I've just been running a mile each time. So how fast or how slow it is. And then it, um, I have it on my watch as well. So whenever I'm like, oh, have I run a mile yet? When, as soon as it hits the mile, it tells me. So I'm not constantly having to look at my watch and see. And it's been really nice to actually see the progress that I've made. Surfline is a surfing app. It tells you like how big the waves and stuff are. And last but not least, Hopper. It tells you prices of flights and stuff in different areas and whether they're going up or down. And I've heard a lot of people say that um, it's a pretty, it gives you like the cheapest flight. And that's everything that is on my phone. My phone's pretty boring, <laughs> but if you guys have any questions, let me know, and thank you for watching.